At Kaiser Permanente, we have a construction and demolition waste diversion program because we know that the landfills in our communities that we serve are filling up and that the waste produced by our construction and demolition projects can be used in other buildings or in other ways in the process of development of our community. Recycling is part of the Green Guidelines for Healthcare and National Facilities Services uses the Green Guidelines for Healthcare for all our projects, even the largest and to the smallest. So this is our overarching commitment to sustainability and this is the framework that we use to try and achieve that. In California alone, we provide health care to over six and a half million people and have a substantial footprint across the entire state with some 35 hospitals and about 400 medical office buildings. As a consequence of all this activity, it has occurred to us that we need to be more conscious of the effects that it has, positive and negative, on the environment. Most counties and municipalities only require 50% diversion. On the projects that we've run to date, most have been able to achieve over 98% diversion of their waste from the landfills. Our primary mission is affordable, quality health care. And by becoming more energy efficient, that can improve the affordability of health care. We recently instituted a policy whereby all future major construction projects, all projects over $10 million, will be LEED Gold certified. Uh, that resonates with folks when they understand that their effort on the ground in a particular project makes some pretty sweeping changes to the environment. This project is pretty massive. On the seven acre site, we have recycled approximately 17 thousand tons of concrete, 1,900 tons of metals such as rebar, and about 20 tons of asphalt. It's community management. Kaiser Permanente's commitment to sustainability has helped set the bar in the construction industry. We have project managers and general contractors that work on jobs all over the country. The knowledge that they gain from working with our system, understanding how to record the data, document what they've been doing, will allow this information to be shared across the industry. Figuring out ways to reuse carpet instead of throwing it in the trash, or reusing old furniture, taking it and doing something with it reshaping it in a way that could be used in other elements of the community who don't have access to it, whether it's here or in another state or even in another country. Those are all ways in which we can contribute indirectly to the well-being of the greater uh, human community. Within all of LA County, there are only a handful of residential facilities for pregnant women. There are many shelters uh, where women can go for the day, but there's no place that will actually house them on a permanent basis. Up until we received this furniture from uh, Kaiser Permanente, we had a scary looking office. <laughs> we had folding card tables, we had broken down furniture, mismatched chairs, you know, different types of file cabinets. It was pretty sad. I just love the idea of how that gets recycled rather than things being put into landfill and causing more problems for the environment. You know, the, the facilities that we build touch so many lives and they help so many people and Kaiser certainly on the forefront in a lot of ways. No stance around sustainable design can be effective unless it is embraced on all levels of the organization. So from the highest executives to the nurses, to the physicians, to architects who work with them to build facilities, to the folks who maintain those facilities, if it's embraced on every level, we will truly make a difference. Once we get this program up and operating the way that we envision it as an organization, and we start making those gains in terms of our sustainability efforts, it's then how do you share that knowledge? How do you share that experience? Kaiser Permanente's mission is to improve the health of the communities we serve. And improving the sustainability for our buildings is, is a part of that. It's an important part of that. But ultimately, it's about something bigger than ourselves. It's about a goal, a mission. By setting an example, we can show others that you can do this in a way that in the long term can be economically just as rewarding as doing it the old way that was more harmful to the environment. So we think there's a lot to be proved here and we aim to do it.